Greetings. The Egyptians did know how to solve linear equations. And linear equations were of interest to them. And just like anything, I mean, we solve lots of linear equations. We don't always think about them as being linear when we solve them. But the reason for this is that uh, they just kind of occur all over the place. But the Egyptians had an interesting way of solving them. And it only works because lines have a constant slope. Their rate of change is never changing. So, let's take a look at this for a minute. One of the famous problems in the Rhine Papyrus says that an amount and its seventh is 19. What is the amount? An amount and its seventh. Well, in modern language, that says something that we don't know added to a seventh of what we don't know is 19. And the question is, how do you solve that equation? And they do not have our understanding of numbers and sophistication, so what they would do would be to do the following. Make a guess. So they come along and they say, guess, let x equal. So pick a value for x that makes sense. In this case, I'm going to pick x equals 7 because I don't want to have to do any hard arithmetic in my head, and if I have to divide by 7, I want a multiple of 7 up here. So now, plug your multiple of 7 in, and we have 7 plus a seventh of 7, and this is going to give us an incorrect answer. It gives us 8. This is a false position. But from this false position, an Egyptian would say, I can get from where I am now to where I need to go. Because the Egyptians did have this idea that 8 times some number they don't know must be 19. And 19 is the true position you want to get to. So they said, we just got to figure out what the missing number is. And we know that they had this ability, it's not that hard it's going to be 19 over 8. And you think to yourself, self, that's fine and dandy. How does that help us? Well, it's this number, 19 over 8, that I'm interested in. Because I'm now going to take my guess, 7, I'm going to multiply it by 19 over 8, and we're going to see what we get out of this. Now, permit me, I'm going to make my problem a bit easier. 7 times 2 plus. I know 8 goes into 19 twice. That got rid of 16. So I have 3 eighths. And I'm going to leave it as 3 eighths. I could, if I wanted to, expand that out. I'm not going to right now. So now I'm going to get an amount. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 7 times 3, 21 eighths. I'm going to simplify this. 8, we're going to 21 twice. So I'm going to add the 2 to the 14 to make 16. Plus, well, I'm going to have 5 left over, 5 eighths. 16 and 5 eighths. Well, go back to the original problem and ask yourself, what is the solution to that equation up there? Does this work? Take a false position, make a guess, get a false position, use that to conclude the correct position. 